Hey guys and welcome back. You know what? We did a super little challenge on using Peak to find out the previous status of whether a customer has paid or not for the previous month. I'll have the link for that video. First, have a look at that. And I gave you guys a challenge. Like, can you figure out how can we do it in another way? And the challenge was this. That is, over here, I have customer IDs. I have different statuses. So if I click on a customer i want to see what was the status for the previous month so in this case april there is no date for march so the previous status is a dash and in may the customer has paid so you have the previous status here and this can be quite useful in a lot of situations so one of the ways we tackled the problem was using peak first we loaded the table we ordered it based on the id and the date and an ascending order and we said that, hey, in case you peek and find the same ID, then get the status. And that saved that as the previous status. And I asked you guys if there's a better way to do it. And um, a lot of you actually replied and said, yes, you can use previous. And a lot of you said previous is so much simpler. And you know what? <laughs> Kudos. Good job. Uh, really good job. Of course, you could use previous. Let's just use previous without anything else. So let's say previous. So I'm going to say previous status, previous. Let's load it. And we're going to add function previous status. It looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's take our same example again. And here it says paid. It shouldn't because three doesn't have an option for before April, right? So that doesn't look exactly right. And if you say six, it says previous function is paid, but that's not true because there is no previous value for this. So what does previous do? It actually just looks at the previous value that's available and brings it and saves it here. So in this case, in this table that we have done, which is ordered by the ID and the date in an ascending order, previous function looks at it at the previous value and then brings it in. But that's not exactly what we want here because in this case, we want it segregated for the ID and for the status, right? So in this case, we still have to do if ID is equal to previous ID, then previous status, exactly like what we did in over here for peak. So peak and previous, let's go in. And now if you see, it's the same value, select ID three, and we get the same values here. And if we go to six, and now we get the right answer. What we are looking for at least, right? In our little scenario here, yeah? So exactly right. In this situation that we were trying to solve, instead of peak, you could use previous. So to everybody who wrote that, kudos. Now you know two different functions to use, peak and previous. All these and more functions in the cheat sheet, check it out. Please leave a like, super appreciate it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.